today we are going to talk about uh, this very interesting case which uh, was managed with posterior superior quadrant and retraction pocket to the stapes head as you can see the stapes is totally trapped in the cholesterol sac The most important tips and tricks in this procedure will be first is the assessment and mobility of the stapes foot, foot plate. Second, finding the plane between the cholesterol sac and the ossicles. So, in this particular case, as there was no planes identified, I decided to use KTP laser to create a plane in the right in the middle. I'm sure you can see days and facial in whole of the horizontal segment. KTP laser was used single pulse one watt to have better control over the lasered area. Once the laser was complete, the dissection was started using sickle knife, opening the cholesterol sac above and below. the stapes superstructure at this point i'm still not sure if the stapes tendon is there or absent or has been eaten up but you can see the stapes is quite mobile gentle dissection is started from back to front Keep in mind you're dissecting against the stabilis tendon. But as we dissected from the posterior segment, it was very clear the stapedis tendon is absent and stapes is a free structure. Next, first the dissection was started to delineate the posterior cross, which is the thicker cross in the stapes using suction and sharp dissection with the needle and sickle knife. At this point, I can see the foot plate posterior end. Continue to rub on the posterior crust to create the plane between the posterior crust as well as the cholesterol sac. And gently now you can see we can appreciate the posterior crust 
of the stabies and then the section is continued entirely moving the cholesterol sac anterior and releasing the stapes suprastructure once the dissection has delineated the posterior cross of stapes the anterior crura is carefully dissected with cold steel and laser dissection we have to be careful when dissecting the anterior crura as that is the thinner crura of the stapes again as there was no dissection plane between the medial surface of the stapes crura and the cholesterol laser was used to dissect and create a plane there at this point again to keep an eye on the stapes so that it is not evolves from the foot plate area once the dissection is complete and truly the sac is delivered from in between the superior superstructure as we know that step is super structure is like a horseshoe so dissection is gently done between the two crura delivering the cholesterol sac without dislocating the step is the magnification of hopkins rod allows us to keep an eye on the foot plate and letting us dissect in between the crura once the superior dissection is complete the same step is repeated from the inferior surface as you can see so we keep going round in the circle both on the and superior surface and then gently the sac is delivered keeping an eye on the superstructure 
aim was to clean as much tape is as possible without dislocating it at this point i decided that we've done adequate dissection for the first sitting to be achieved safely and decision was done not to reconstruct and review the offer the patient second look procedure creating the middle ear space the technique described here illustrated here shows the moving limits of the endoscopic ear surgery and what we can achieve a gentle patient dissection of the stapes area this patient was reviewed 3 weeks post op and the cochlear reserve is preserved and plan to do second look procedure in 8 months time few things can happen in this particular case from experience one because of the dissection around the crura the crura might lose the blood supply and get closed and the colostrum sac can again form around the cp superstructure as you can see the flap elevation was adequate and reconstruction was done using the trigal perichondrium thanks for watching the video